18.19. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're making a postcard for the Twitter Art Exhibit for 2018, and I will give you more information on that in just a little bit. Now I've used a manila file folder. Oh, and there's a list of ingredients in the description box below along with uh, the information on the Twitter art exhibit that you'll need to follow. So I have uh, made uh, previously made a window, uh, my postcard size, and um, so that I could see my pre-carved stamp through the window and determine more or less where I wanted to uh, stamp that. Uh, there's a link in the iCard up, I upper right hand corner for a link to where I carved the stamp and I will uh, do my best to, to remember to put that in the description box below. Cross fingers that this stamping is going to work. Okay? Okay. So uh, there's the information. <laughs> See, just real quick, like, no, you have to uh, register with uh, Twitter Art Exhibit 18. It's easy peasy. You just email them, go to their uh, site. You can look them up, Google them, and they come up all over the place. Hashtag TAE18 or just uh, Google. Uh, or otherwise search for Twitter Art Exhibit 2018 and uh, the information on how to register should uh, be available to you because you need to register because they're going to send you an email with further information. Okay. Okay. So my stamping worked and I thought well I'm going to put this black line at the bottom and then I said no I don't think I'm going to risk it because you know it's not like I couldn't stamp it again right? <laughs> I have, you know, millions, just millions, I tell you, of file folders. Oh, gosh. So, there we are. Hit gun, y'all. And uh, dried and heat set my uh, stamp image. And now I'm putting together some alphabet uh, stamps. Uh, they happen to line up and uh, click together. And I'm laying down trying to measure out more or less because we were talking about me. So even if I use a straight line, it's not necessarily a straight line, y'all. But it's still, I'm marking uh, for mostly where I want them. And I'm going to flip that upside down because in my head, it's going to be easier for me to see my straight line. And as you can see, my letters are slightly curved. They were trying to fall apart a little bit, even though they're supposed to stay together. They didn't so much. So I put some tape on them, and that helped to clean off the stamps. Now I'm using my G on this other line because I need, I need another G, but there's only one G in the package. I have an upper and a lower case G. Anywho, stamp it away. And I stamped out Pegasus Writing, which is uh, uh, the the charitable organization this uh, for 2018 for the Twitter art exhibit. It would be Pre Pegasus Writing for the Disabled of the Act or ACT Inc. Uh, and in parentheses, it calls itself Pegasus ACT. And uh, the exhibit will be in um, Australia this year. Going down under. Can I go see y'all scrunchie? No, I'm not. But anyway, <laughs> my postcard's going down under, y'all. And I'm excited about that. This is, uh, I believe, the fourth, possibly fifth, but I think fourth would be more precise, uh, time that I have sent a postcard in for this um Twitter art exhibit. They auction off or otherwise sell the postcards to benefit the charity organization, which in this case is Pegasus ACT, also Pegasus Writing for the Disabled of the ACT Inc. And uh, there you go. You need to register because you have until March 6th for the cards to arrive down under. Okay? Okay, so there is still a little bit of time for y'all to do this if you want to. And thanks again, Linda White Holloway, <laughs> for 
introducing me to this uh, fun art exhibit, international too, may I add. So, yeah. And um, go, went simple this year. I don't know if I started off saying that, but it went simple. That's why I used my pre-carved stamp. And I'm coloring with Prisma color pencils because they make me happy. And I haven't used them for a while, and I thought it was time. And I've got green eyes going on and blue eyes going on. Uh, and that's my little test sheet, which will end up going into my 2018 scavenger hunt uh, journal at uh, which um, Monkey Island Madness is uh, more or less put on hosting, challenging us to do. Okay, okay. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm colored the background a gray because there is a little bit of background in my stamp. And then to me, that's an earring. But it could just be an earlobe. I don't know. And I'm really happy with it. I hope y'all are happy with it. In a little bit, I'm going to be doing a um, technique where I, I'm transferring foil, gold, goat foil, and um, I'm going to call it gilding. I'm going to be gilding, you know, around the uh, outside frame there. So once I get all my color pencil done, oh, now I'm going to add some uh, white to the whites of the eye, y'all. White to the eye. And once I get all this done and I'm happy with it, I take it outside and uh, spray it with uh, some uh, fixative. I put on two layers of fixative because I wanted to fix it all in one place. So there's the whites of my eyes. Now I need my pupils. Where's Oh, black Sharpie for the pupils, y'all. And I'm going to sharpen up. <laughs> using a black Sharpie to sharpen up some of the lines. Oh gosh, I just crack myself up because you know, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to say. Sometimes I say the right thing. Sometimes I don't. And uh, sorry, my nose just got a little stopper dead. And every once in a while, you probably can hear Champ scratching on the back door. <coughs> Excuse me, he thinks he wants in the house. <laughs> He's wrong. He don't want a house. <laughs> Put a little life in those eyes. That's that little spark of life that we all got from God in the beginning. Hallelujah. So there I am doing that. And I went outside and sprayed it with the fixative when you weren't looking. Shouldn't have blinked. <laughs> so now this here is some sticky embossing powder, which I recently heard of. I know y'all might have heard about this 20 years ago. I don't know how long it's been around, y'all. It's new to me. B brand new to me. It's like second time I attempted to use it. And I found that uh, for me, this is the best way for me to use this with the type of foil I purchased, which is some mink foil, transfer foil, which you use in the mink machine, but I don't have one of them. So anyway, I got it from Tuesday morning, the foil, not the embossing, sticky embossing powder by Ranger. Uh, this is not a plug. They do not, you know, I'm not affiliated with anybody. All right, y'all. All right. So, I'm um, saving my little bit of embossing, sticky embossing stuff there, powder. And that's a Zig Pen I'm using as well, which I really like that. And it, it works great for this because I want a sparse, haphazard um, gold on there. Not gold specks and not a straight gold line, just slightly gilded like the gilding has worn off, which you'll see in the close-up in the photo montage. <laughs> and I worked on this postcard for probably 45 minutes to an hour, more or less. Um, and I've got it whittled down to just over 14 minutes. You're welcome. And I'm rubbing on the... Uh, shiny side of the gold foil well actually the back side yeah see the gold it's got gold on it now y'all real gold not really gold um faux gold and i found that did i already say that? i keep saying it in my head i keep saying it anyway so i'm taking my embossing ink pen 
and I'm just making dishes and doshes and stuff like that on my uh, border there. And I'm going to sprinkle on the sticky embossing powder. Now, this is not sticky, sticky like you would get from the name. It's a little sticky, okay? Careful, care oh, dang it. I just spread that embossing powder just all over my desk, all over my shirt. I had to, like, dust my shirt out five times. Now I'm drying my little background there. So, yeah. My embossing powder did stick, did. So now I'm heating it up, and I'm putting my foil on there right away while it's still warm. And it is warm, not hot, but pretty warm. No, not pretty warm, just warm. And I pull it off, and it worked, and that little corner didn't because that portion of the foil I'd stuck there, it was already missing the gold foil off of the back. Okay? Like I said, I got these little packages from uh, Tuesday morning. I'm happy with that. And um, it was supposed to have two gold sheets in it, but I only had one gold sheet in it. So someone barred the other one, I guess. Hmm. No, I didn't take it back to the store because it's not worth the drive over there and all that. I'll be back to that store soon enough. So now I'm doing the last little bit of my border. Oh, hold on tight now. Don't just be careful. Hold it. <laughs> That's some springy uh, manila folder. Just saying that'd be a little springy. Just sprung right out of my hand. Sometimes I, you know, I got hand issues and I'll just my fingers let go, and I don't know they let go. It's an it's a nerve thing. So heating it up, which melts the uh, embossing powder, and I'm laying my uh, gold foil on there and rubbing it pretty good, pretty good. And there it is. Tadam! I think I go back to that other corner again because I just wasn't quite happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I thought I did it again. But I'm really happy with my postcard. It's already been sent and hopefully should be arriving any moment now. Well, day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long it takes stuff to send down under. I'm happy with it makes me happy. Anyway, you have to register. I know I've said that before. Please check the description box below for further information. And uh, you have to print off the back. You have to fill in your name and stuff like that. And those little boxes are very important because it tells you the orientation and they assign, uh, assign an indexing number there when the postcard arrives. Pretty sure that's when it happens. So that uh, they know where it is on the wall for when someone purchases this for the charitable organization of Pegasus Writing for the Disabled of the ACT Inc. Also known as Pegasus ACT. Um, so there we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Montage! <laughs> makes me happy! I hope whoever purchased it makes them happy as well. And this is a postcard size for the European market. So another reason why you really need to register and get further information. Okay? Just love it, y'all. Makes me stinking happy. Thank you, everyone, for your valuable time, your kind comments, your likes, your subscriptions, your shares, and your views. Thanks for watching. And... Happy Arden, y'all!